Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, configuring the bridge ID for STP. So configuring the bridge ID is important because we want to determine uh, which switch is going to be the root bridge and also if we want to have any backup root bridges. Also, you know, we may even have multiple root bridges for different VLANs per, per VLAN spanning tree. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways that we can do it. One way we can do it is by using the command spanning tree uh, VLAN. Let me use my pen here. There we go. Spanning tree VLAN and the VLAN that we're uh, uh, working with root primary. Okay, so first of all, the VLAN. This remember we have the extended system ID, so this is saying which VLAN or VLANs that we want this to be the root bridge for. Root primary, what that does, it alters, changes the bridge priority, which by default is 32768, and lowers it to 24576. Now I have plus VLAN ID. Remember what we'll see in show spanning tree is it actually uh, with that Output will actually add the extended system ID. But anyway, it lowers it. Lower the bridge ID, the uh, more, the, well, the, the, let me put it this way. The, the bridge with the lowest bridge ID becomes the root bridge. Sometimes we say the highest priority, and, you know, that's kind of uh, misleading. Uh, but it's the bridge priority, the lower the better, okay? The whole bridge ID, lower the better. Now, what if you use this command, root primary, but there's already a current root bridge that has a uh, priority lower than 24576? Well, what spanning tree will do, what the, uh, Cisco IOS will do, is actually lower it 4,096 less than the current root bridge, okay? So you can either say root primary, or you can also use the priority command and actually just specify the priority. And you, know, you wanna use a question mark here because there's only certain values that are accepted by iOS. Okay, and I'm gonna talk about these uh, configuration commands up that you're seeing here in just a moment. So what if you want to have a backup route, meaning if the root bridge fails, you don't want to just leave it up to chance that some other bridge becomes the root bridge, especially if it's one of your access switches. So you can use the commands uh, spanning tree VLAN root secondary, which alters the switch's bridge priority to 28672, slightly higher than uh, using the command spanning tree root primary as we saw previously, oops. Okay, and again, you can just use the commands. Let me kind of show you this here. You can either say root primary and root secondary, or you can use the priority command, okay? Now, in this case here, looks like we're, we're looking at switch S3, which is this switch right here, assuming that we did not do this command here, because we would, don't do this, don't say root primary on one switch, and then use priority commands on another switch. So before I talk about this output, either use priority on all your switches, your whatever you want your root switches to be, and your, your backup, uh, your secondary root, your backup root switches, or use the primary and secondary commands. That's my personal opinion. Unless you have a more complex topology, but keep it simple. All right, so what this will show you again, show spanning tree will tell you uh, who, and since S3 is the root, it says, who is the root? And we can say, well, this bridge is the root because its bridge ID is the same as the bridge ID of the root. Let me kind of remove some of that there. Okay, make it a little easier here. Okay, so this is the bridge ID of this bridge. Okay, so 24576, and here it's for VLAN 1 plus 1, so that's where we get the 24577. 
That was with this command here, priority for 24,576 plus one. Okay, uh, that's the, the VLAN one. And because, and it's telling us, well, who is the root? Well, it says this bridge is the root. Why? Because the bridge ID is our bridge ID. Nobody has a lower bridge ID than us. All right, so I hope that helps, uh, helps you understand a little bit about uh, configuring the bridge ID.